Hey Overcomers, I hope you're all having an amazing day. I'm Dara Marie, I'm your favorite mindset teacher, and this is Being Overcomer, where you are inspired and empowered to walk by faith and use the gift of imagination to create the life you desire. So Overcomers, today's message is go within your imagination. Today I wanna to talk to you about as Neville Goddard calls it, your wonderful imagination, your human wonderful imagination. And we understand that this world, for those of us that are of strong faith, we know that this world, world was created by the word of God. In the book of Genesis, in the beginning was the word of God and the word was God and the word was with God and by him and through him, all things were made. We know that everything was made by God speaking it into existence. And because we are children of God, because we have faith, because we are his creation, we have that power to speak our life into existence too, okay? so. Overcomers, I have quite a bit of reading that I felt led to share with you that I want to get through. I actually want to start with Psalm 45 and 1, and I'm reading from the NIV version. And it says, My heart is stirred by a noble theme as I recite my verses for the king. My tongue is the pen of a skillful writer. And when we speak and write, our words have creative power. Just like in the Bible, when the Bible talks about the pen of a ready writer, basically you, as you write, you're manifesting your life, as you're writing your affirmations, as you're writing your vision, as you're writing your goal. And in fact, the Bible says to write the vision and make it plain. The Bible says, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established and light will shine on your ways. So I also wanna to read to you from my latest book, Faith and Imagination, Keys to Effortless Living. And in this section, I wrote about imagination. And I used a quote from Candace Thoth. And she, her channel is Awaken the God Self. I think it has recently changed. But it's she's one of the people, when I started to learn about Neville Goddard and the works of Neville Goddard, it's like I stumbled upon it. It was like a coincidence. I truly believe things are God-led, okay? I also believe that as you're going through different seasons of your life, the Lord will allow certain pieces of information that you need to get through that season or certain insights, certain wisdom to come into your life to help you to move forward. So she wrote her quote here. I included it in the book. Imagination will get you anywhere in rapid speed in ways that the logical mind could never construct. The physical world is our thoughts or our imagination pushed out. If we want to change what is showing up in our outer world, we must change what we are picturing in our minds. What are you imagining? Use your imagination to create the life you desire. I believe we are here to create the life we want because God would not allow us to have different hopes dreams and visions and not allow them to come to pass that we would desire such things not fulfill them and then die what kind of life would that be his word says that we are to live life abundantly and that's from john 10 and 10. your imagination will take you beyond the limitations of this natural realm not only were we created to speak things into existence, but we can think them into existence too. That is so powerful. We are more powerful than we think. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that's from Philippians 4 and 13, the New King James Version. As believers, we can do all things through God's power. When we allow, allow God's super to get on our natural, there is nothing we cannot do. God created us so that we can create what we want when we want. Use your faith and imagination and think about the things you want to create in your life, okay? So 
when we have faith and i took some notes i'm like i have stuff everywhere i was like trying to take notes you know before this message and i'm sorry the sun is in my like shining down but i wanted to get through this message and i wanted to record it so i can make sure that i share this with you we are to create our lives through tapping into faith and i understand a lot of times this 3d realm this outside world situation circumstances that you may be going through it looks like it is immovable but in the word of god in the bible it says if you say to the mountain be thou removed and cast into the sea and you don't doubt it has to move our words have creative power but the way this world has it it's like it's flipped it gets you thinking like you know what you're powerless you don't have this power that words don't create certain sayings like sticks and stones may break my bones but words will never hurt me that's a lie because the cells in your body as i share with you and it's backed by science the cells in your body it's listening to you okay you have this creative power. I need you to understand this. You have the power to change your life no matter where you may find yourself today, no matter what it looks like, no matter the circumstance, no matter the situation. If you would just call those things that be not as though they are, and that's from the book of Romans, Romans 4 and 17. If you will call those things that be not as though they are and literally, literally start to speak the things that you want into existence, it has to show up. Okay, it's like spiritual law. Just like there's laws of the land that we must obey. There are laws to God's kingdom. But it's going to take you getting in his word for yourself getting in his word, reading the promises of God. That's why I tell you, if there's a situation that you're facing, there is a promise of God in his word that you can start to speak to it today, I'm telling you, okay? But it is up to you. What will you say about your situation? What will you decree? What will you declare over your situation? Another um, book I wanna read to you from, and like I said, this book was uh, recommended to me because I told you I love reading books on mindset. I'm into like personal growth, personal development, faith, imagination, like that is, you know that's my thing. So this book, I read from it before, it's called A Happy, A Happy Pocket Full of Money. I'm sorry if my voice is hoarse, been <laughs> talking all day long. Okay, try to understand this clearly. Life is images of the mind expressed. It is that simple. Life is also precise. Life ensures that all of your mind's images that you would hold true and clear are fulfilled. Be of a state of mind that allows the source, life, God, only to say yes to you and never know. The only question then is this, what is it that you are asking for? And do you believe in it? Don't ask for something intended. I need to read that again. Don't ask for something intended. And it kind of reminds me of the scripture in the Bible where it says, come boldly to the throne of grace, okay? You have that right as a child of God. For even before you ask, it has been given to you whatever you ask for whatever you intend earnestly and with conviction shall be yours and that reminds me of the scripture in the book of matthew chapter 7 verse 7 ask and it shall be given unto you that's our only job like as people of faith we are to ask and ask with conviction know that it is yours another thing i want to tell you overcomers if you've seen the vision in your mind, in your imagination, that means it's for you. That means it has to materialize in this world because you would never receive the download if you could not have that thing. You would never receive the idea. You would never have that desire to achieve that goal if it wasn't for you. What is for you is for you, okay? It cannot miss you. Now, here's the thing. Because we're in this world, there's this thing called timing. And if you're like me, I'm sometimes very impatient. 
I want what I want when I want, especially if I have a goal, especially if I've seen the vision in my mind, I know, okay, this is what I want. I need it to show up like now. But see, this is the thing. We don't control the time. God just needs our faith to operate in the dimension, in the kingdom of God. He just needs our faith to move, right? The Bible says without faith, um, you know, without faith, okay, it is impossible to please God. The Bible also says faith without works is dead. So our part, we have to play our part. We have to take some action, some faith action. And I, I believe you'll be inspired to take that action. You will know when. You'll feel like a peace. You'll feel like a confirmation, like, okay, this is time for me to move forward toward the, towards this thing. Um, this is time for me to do this thing. You'll know. You'll have a certain level of peace within you. Okay, and I just want to encourage you today, go within, use your imagination. If you have seen the vision in your mind, it's only a matter of time before it will manifest in your outside world. But you have to persist that no matter what I'm telling you, no matter what it looks like on the outside, you must persist. Okay, there's some certain things right now, overcomers in my life that I'm like, okay, this is awesome. This needs some work. And the things that are not fully aligned with the vision, I realize if certain things have not shown up yet or certain things are not how I want them to be, that's an indicator that I need to keep speaking towards it. That's an indicator that I need to keep using my faith, that I need to keep using my imagination, that I need to keep affirming. It might have to like, you know, visualize. I might have to script it out, write it out. Okay, that's why this message today is go within and use your imagination. As Neville Goddard said, imagination is the, um, well, no, no, sorry, sorry. Albert Einstein said, imagination is the preview of life's coming attractions. Okay, Neville Goddard said, imagination creates reality. Everything in this world is created twice. Everything that you see, like I'm sitting here, like by this park, there's a lot of traffic because now like it's getting into rush hour. There's cars out there, different brands of cars. That was in the mind of someone, okay? It was in their mind and then they had to sketch it. They had to create a blueprint or whatever, however they do it. I don't know the process of, you know, building a car, but we have all these different types of cars out on the road. It was in the mind of someone. Okay, a house, a building, anything that is constructed, it has a blueprint. And there's like a roadmap, there's a guideline. Back in the day, now I'm dating myself, but whatever. Back in the day, before we had all these gadgets that you could say, hey, I wanna go to such and such place, um, direct me. Back in the day, there were literal maps. <laughs> maps, and you had to look at the roadmap to follow the direction. And then later on with technology, there was this site um, where you could actually print out your directions and follow like, um, you know, line by line. I remember like a couple of weeks ago, my cousins and I, we were talking about it. We were laughing about how back in the day there was that thing. And now we have phones like, and tablets and all kinds of gadgets. Your car has like systems in it that you could put in where you wanna go, okay? So overcomers, where do you want to go in your life? Where are you headed? Use your imagination to steer you towards that direction. And if things are not showing up, things that show up that's contrary, that doesn't mean, oh, you know what? We quit this mission. We're not doing it. Oh, I'm done. Give up. No, you have to keep moving. You keep moving forward. Faith without works is dead. God has, God has already... I'm sorry, I get charged. <laughs> I feel like I'm preaching. God has already given you the vision. He's already given you the vision. He's already given you the download. He's already given you the dream. Now it is up to you to move and flow towards the direction of the thing that you desire. Okay? So I want to leave you with a few keys. Okay. So as I said, today's message, go within, use your imagination. First key, decide just decide because what you consistently decide on that is what will be expressed in your world 
whatever you decide on and that's biblical whatever you decide on shall be done job 22 and 28 the next key you have to affirm until it shows up okay we're taught in this world seeing is believing or what you see is what you get but actually in the law of assumption it is what you affirm in here what you're speaking in your mind what you're consistently saying the thoughts that you're constantly thinking about through the day if you're like oh my god this is horrible this is terrible this is this start to flip it start to speak what you want because your words have creative power death and life is in the power of the tongue that's from the book of proverbs okay and the last key with faith and this is what trips people up because a lot of times we're in this world like we're in i call it a microwave type society and i talk about that in my first book a walk with god we're so trained to have things like quick okay we have microwaves now you don't have to cook for hours on end you could put your thing in the microwave your food heated up boom you're eating five minutes later however minutes two minutes whatever later right but the thing is, because we're in such a society, and I'm looking at this traffic, there's so much traffic moving and flowing and it's moving. Because we're in such a society that things move quickly, when things don't show up, when we feel it should show up, we feel it's not working. We feel it's not for us. But understand God's timing, timing in God's realm, the spiritual realm and this natural realm is different. The Bible even says a day is like a thousand years, right? His timing is not our timing. So your job is only to believe and move by faith. And faith, this is what I wrote about faith. You know, the Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And that's from Hebrews 11 and one. And I'm gonna like, I'm saying scriptures just in case people wanna refer to it, okay? Now, with faith, you are speaking ahead of the evidence, meaning you have not seen it yet. You're not seeing it with your natural eyes yet, but you're speaking it. So for example, if it's a healing you need, the doctor's saying one thing, in the natural it's looking like one way, but I'm gonna, oh God, Holy Spirit, hold on goosebumps. I'm gonna encourage you to speak healing. I'm gonna encourage you to speak healing to speak it to speak it you are in perfect health you are in perfect health you are healed you are perfect in perfect health the bible says by his stripes i am healed financial the blessing of the lord maketh rich and he addeth no sorrow to it there's scriptures on every situation overcomers okay don't let this world tell you that this book here I'm sorry, this is like one of my first Bibles I have, so it's kind of it's torn and it's it's because I marked it up and stuff. Don't let this world tell you that the word of God is not real. I didn't think I was gonna go this direction. That it's not real. This word is true. Okay? The word of God, right? It says in the Bible, his promises are yes and amen for those that believe. The promise of promises of God are for you. His word never fails. His word never returns void, okay? His, his word, okay? You can bank on his word. It's not going to return void. It's not going to fail you. So overcomers, understand when we are speaking in faith and using our imagination, you are speaking and thinking ahead of the evidence. It has yet to show up okay now i don't know why the lord is bringing ruth the story of ruth and boaz ruth she didn't know her husband would take notice of her she was busy working she was busy flowing and moving in her purpose and doing the things that god was calling her to do and then she caught the eye of boaz so understand overcomers you are to move and flow in faith if you want to have a successful life, if you want to, as I talk about in faith and imagination, keys to effortless living, if you really want to tap into that effortless living, you need to start to walk by faith and not by sight. As I said, faith is speaking ahead of the evidence, is thinking ahead of the evidence. You're going to write and journal ahead of the evidence. You're going to speak in the present tense, I am. Because whenever you say anything in the phrase, I am whatever you speak after it must locate you so every day 
I speak, I'm favored by God. Everything is working for my good. That's Romans 8.28. And we know in all things, right? All things work together for good for those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So overcomers, go within. Especially when the world is looking hectic and there's so much busyness. <laughs> I keep looking out here, it's busy. When there's so much busyness and so much happening around you, go within, use your imagination. That was the gift that God has given us. I called it, I call it a gift. Because once you realize you have that gift, you no longer feel helpless, hopeless, or so rattled and shaken by things in this world. And yes, there are circumstances. We're all in this life. We're, we are all walking through things, right? Okay? But once you understand that you can consciously create your life, that you can learn to walk by faith and not by sight, and see things shift in the outside world, You'll start to move through life with a little bit more boldness, with more clarity in the things that you want, okay? So overcomers, this is really long, this video. I want you to go within, use your imagination. If you like this message, please comment, please share, subscribe, encourage others to join us. I love you all so much. Always be an overcomer.